When you open any of the HDA FU tables, the first tab you will see is the Backing by Team tab. And this is a complete breakdown over the last five seasons of every team to have played in this league. And you will see the teams in green are those which will be playing in the 2015 season, whilst those in grey uh, will not be playing in the new season. Across the top of the backing by team tab you will see each bet type so here the first is backing the home team to win followed by backing the draw and then backing the away team. Uh, in addition we have backing the favourite to win whether they are at home or away. Similarly with the underdog to win and then we have a further breakdown backing the home favourite to win, backing the home underdog to win, the away favourite and the away underdog. So for example when Adelaide United are playing at home in the 2010 season they played 14 games, won six of them and recorded a profit of 405 units based on the 100 unit stake. Scrolling down the page, we have Adelaide United again, but this time when they are playing away from home. And in the same season, backing the home team to win realised a loss of 227 units, again for the 100 unit base stake. There were 13 games of which the home team only won four of them. So it looks like a good season playing away for Adelaide United. Below this set of tables is the breakdown per calendar month. And this will show you the results of every single month during the season and the profit or loss of the matches played during those months. So for example in December 2010 there were 22 matches in total. Backing the home team to win happened eight times and that resulted in a profit of 270 units again for the 100 unit base stake. Sometimes you will find some months have been in profit for each one of the five seasons and conversely some months show a loss in all five seasons so let's just see if we can find examples here's one straight away backing the draw in December in the Australian A-League at half time results in a loss in every single season whereas backing the home favourite to win in December has produced a profit in every one of the five seasons. And just looking above in the same table, if we take January for example, again we have four seasons which are in profit. The fifth season is a loss of only 154 units, but when you consider that December of the same season produced 435 units profit, then December and January combined have produced quite a handsome profit. So 2329 plus 2035, which in my very quick maths is 4,364 units profit, which is higher than the total of all the months combined. So you can see that this table is quite useful. Turning our attention to the, the fields that you can amend in this particular tab, obviously we've seen how the stake uh, can affect the tables. The odds toggle is the subject of a separate article and that will describe in depth what the odds toggle is and how to calculate it. And then we have the commission rate toggle, which is for using betting exchanges or agents where you have to pay commission on your winnings. So for example, let's take a typical 
commission rate from a company like Smarkets, which is 2%. And we'll see what effect that has on the figures. So if you remember, we had 5303 in the bottom for backing the home team to win. If we just click outside that cell and let the spreadsheet recalculate, the total has dropped to 4,302. So that's a reduction of almost 1,000 units just for using a betting exchange with relatively low commission in this example. Obviously, with betting exchanges, the odds can be better than the best bookmaker odds. So the odds toggle, for example, will probably be a positive figure in that case. Let's just key in a 1% positive figure. And the grand total increases from 5303 to 6681. So if you can achieve prices better than the best bookmaker odds at kickoff uh, with your betting exchanges uh, and try and keep the con commission rate low, then the outlook of the simulations can actually be improved. Just one last point to make on the backing by team tab. Uh, the toggle rates are individual per bet type until we come to the favorites and underdogs where there are just one set of fields each for the favorite and underdogs which apply to all of the favorite and underdog bet types so if you want to change the toggles in backing the home underdog to win for example then you'll need to change the general toggles just in the underdog to win so you can see that picking teams which are habitually in profit. Uh, for example, Wellington Phoenix here have recorded five straight seasons of profit when playing at home and the total accumulated profit is 1531 units. You can see here that they have played 69 games over a five season period and won 28 of them. So we're looking at a hit rate of around 40% there, but the profits are quite a significant amount of the total. And putting together a portfolio of similar teams, perhaps in different bet types uh, and across many different leagues should give you a profitable portfolio of games to bet on. And of course, in this case, uh, betting is purely a numbers game. You don't have to do any homework on the teams or check out team news or any of the other extraneous factors. All you need to do is know that these teams, no matter what their odds are, uh, will create a profit at the end of five seasons. It is very, very unlikely that enough teams actually let you down during a season. For example, Wellington Phoenix having recorded five straight seasons of profit suddenly lose money in the sixth season. That's unlikely to happen with all of the teams that you select. So you have a very good chance of actually turning in quite handsome profits based on a portfolio of individual teams. And finally, in the top left hand corner are a few shortcuts to make life easy. So clicking on the team playing away will redirect you to that particular part of the table. Likewise, clicking on calendar month analysis will take you there as well. All right, that's enough of the backing by team tab. The next one will be backing by odds. And in the meantime, thanks for your time.